Yo, what's going on guys? I have some cheesy Bork action for you. We're gonna be building the strongest build right now, which is Bork into Divine Sunder. We are not gonna be building Jack Show because they're about to nerf it for non-tanks. For bruisers, it will no longer be viable next patch, which is tomorrow. You wanna go for Bork into Divine for the maximum damage. Bork lets you freeze, gives you big shred. Warwick top is best against lower ranged champions. Things like Wukong, Poppy, Gwen, Kasante, Garen, those type of things. Having to play him against Vayne is bad. The only melee champion you absolutely can't really play him against is Olaf. Olaf is tough because you can't CC him once he's level six. We have lethal tempo, presence of mind for the mana, alacrity, last stand, alongside second win, which is better against ranged matchups with revitalized attack speed, AD and armor. Usually go for Barrier because it's a low cooldown Summoner spell, relatively speaking. And you can cheese down a lot of enemies. They don't expect it. Warwick's healing is extremely amplified when he's below half health and even more so when he's below a quarter health. So typically you want to save your Barrier until you're at least half HP or lower. Auto attack Q through. I would love to all in him here. Even if I'm fighting on his minion backline. Oh yeah, that's annoying. <laughs> he gets the pop back. Should be able to uh, get to level two first here. There's one more minion. Nice. Level two, you generally want to get your W for the attack speed and movement speed. Slow push in this wave. I have a lot of minions. I have a Rek'Sai jungle. Missed a fair bit of CS, missed about four so far. We'll go ahead and dump this and then look to roam. He's level 2 now, so you may want to fight. Go ahead and pick up our E, max our Q first, W second, and E last. On Warwick top, you always go Q max first, really. For the burst it gives, super valuable. Also a little bit more healing on it. Almost missed cannon there, that would have been unfortunate. Look for the invade on Rek'Sai, I'm not quite sure where she's at. I don't think it's meta to do a full clear on her. So we'll see what she's up to after we crash the wave. She's not on her red, not on this. She must have started on her red buff and pathed away. Otherwise, she would have already ganked us. She must be bot side. We should still get XP, so we miss one melee mini in terms of gold. I'll attack Q. Got my Eon. I'll attack Q. And I should be able to get out without even having to use barrier. Very nice. Your Q's best is an auto attack reset because it has more range than your autos. Works really well that way. Any champion that has a lot of displacements, like a knock up knock back, your Q's perfect because it goes straight through that, even through a poppy W. Works really well for that. I would like to uh, kind of keep this wave into the turret. I still have my barrier, so you can't really fight me. This wave's gonna push to me. It's reinforcing first. He's going to have a one ranged minion advantage. We can look for the reset here. We could still crush him in a solo fight. Not sure where Rek'Sai's at though, so I'll go ahead, find the recall, pick up recurve bow, and head back to lane. Should have a nice wave waiting for us. We haven't lost a minion from this wave yet. He was able to push that super fast though. D shield Cassante, man. Holy fudge. He took that cannon wave like it was nothing. I'm going to hit him with W. With a movement speed, you also get attack speed against them. So if we went into a fight with him raw right now, we would get the extra attack speed bonus. You do lose the movement speed bonus once you take damage from an enemy champion, though. I'm gonna Q through him. I did it early because I wanted to get the fear behind him. Probably should have held Q though. He got off a really good dash. We can go ahead and freeze it on him. Your Q on Warwick attaches to every dash and flash in the game. That's why you, against champions, you pretty much always hold your Q down unless you're going to die by swinging through. If you're going to die from a turret shot or something, then you just go in for a normal bite such as that. Otherwise, against champions, you hold it down. That way, if they flash or dash, you have a longer window to attach and hold on. Because the animation's four times as long for the swing through rather than just the bite. He has a couple of different displacements, his R and his knockback. We can go through that with RQ. He's trying to hit me with his grasp, it's so annoying. 
Auto attack Q through. I still have my barrier as well. Good luck, buddy. There we go. Notice how I saved my barrier until I was below 25% health, because that way my auto attacks would heal me a lot more. I think this might actually still push into me here. Oh, I messed up that auto. Trying to really take my time here. Because he has cannon minions alive. Cannon hits like three or four range creeps in terms of strength. So if you can, we, I can keep that cannon up. This will keep pushing into me. War can hold a freeze for a long time since his autos heal him. And his Q heals him. Yeah, we, we, we kept the freeze. That's so good for us. I'm going to thin out the melees. You only need them to have four more range creeps than you. So he definitely has more than he needs at the moment. Go ahead and take out the cannon. He's going to try to push this now. He realizes I have a freeze. We're building up the CS lead. I got to thin this out more. Now he's got a pretty big <laughs> range minion advantage. We only need four of these. We don't need all five. My cannon wave's going to th shred through it fast, though, since these are all frontlining and range minions are super squishy. Rek'Sai on dragon. He is going to miss a lot of CS. Absolute heaps. He knows he can't fight us, so he's standing back and trying not to die. Which is the right move. He needs his jungler to come up and help him break this. Otherwise, he's going to slowly get bled dry. My cannon dies first. Perfect. And the free should hold. I got to let those minions stay alive in the back for as long as possible. He does some AoE on the wave. Finally kill that. He has three range creep advantage. He's also stepping up for miscellaneous hits now. I'm going to hold E. Against especially lower damage champions, but in general, you want to save your E until you're around half health typically. Unless you're trying... Ooh. Auto attack E through. That's actually kind of... <laughs> It's a weird interaction. Generally, with your Q on Warwick, you can finish it because displacements can't stop it. But with Cassante's weird dash animation there, he's actually kind of stunned this out of our Q where it didn't doesn't finish, which is highly abnormal. Because with most interactions on Warwick, your Q swing through finishes pretty much no matter what once it starts. I got to go ahead and finish pushing this now. Max our W second. About double his CS. He's going to throw that on my back line. Oh, nope. He's actually going to put that right at me. Hit him with a Q. Might actually be able to kill him here, potentially. It was close. When he was 6, when he's 7, he gets a little bit of HP. I would like to stay for a Bork. That would be ideal. Not knowing where the rex is is making me really nervous. Cause I don't I don't want to die. So rex is actually mid. He missed a melee minion on that. He missed another melee minion. Melees are worth more than range as well. Trying to bait out his uh, attack there. I went in for a rock you just to get some poke on him. His wave's gonna push to me. It reinforced first. His backline's gonna stay alive. Got him with my Q. He's actually just dead. I can wait for my Q to come back up. He's getting pushed off super heavy here. Trying to keep him off these back lines that are dying. Is that 42 CS? Yeah, we have double CS here after I kill this wave. Let's break aggro. Get them to stop. For the most part, they'll cancel their autos if you're clean enough as you're exiting. Yeah, Rek'Sai is topside. I'm glad I froze it closer to my turret because I don't want to die to a gank here. If we needed to, we could have auto attack Q reset on that minion. We'll Q to get to that one. I don't want to get creep blocked. Looks like he TP'd back and he has Bramble now. It's going to cut our healing by 25%. Not the end of the world. We do have to take that into account. Warwick does a lot of magic damage on his autos and abilities, so I don't know how much that armor is really going to help him. It's more just he has more gold spent than me at this point. I have to thin this out. He's attacking the wave. He's 
getting off some some more grass than I would like. Oh, I wasted my E. That sucks. I thought he was full committing there. He was going to arm me, but he didn't. Because I'm tanking his minions too, so it wouldn't have been a horrible fight for him. Got to leave that melee up, let it tank. I wonder if he's going to go eat fruits right now. Looks like he's going to loot. My minions are focusing down the range creeps, which is kind of weird because there's a melee in front. Sometimes minions work in mysterious ways. And that... Yeah, that's weird. Wasn't, wasn't trying to miss that one. Hit him with a Q. I kind of need to reset now. I would like to to get my Bork. I could still solo him for sure. Maybe I should force it for the cannon fight here. All right, he just he's he's gonna give up cannon minion if if, if his minions attack my minion. Yeah, he knows he can't. So he loses cannon. He's also losing some XP. I mean, granted, I'm losing some gold off of it, but. I'll just go ahead and reset here. The wave's pushing to me as it is. It might end up crashing into my turret here. It is what it is. We'll grab boots. I, could, I should have thinned it out a little bit more, so I guess that's my bad. Warwick does fall off somewhat in the true late game. When everyone's full build, he's more of an early mid game type of champ. He's also really good at the enemy jungler ganks you and you have some kind of advantage. Or if the enemy jungler is low damage and the enemy laner is low damage. Kind of like two tanks. You can kill them both. Since Warwick kills more the lower and health he is, you get more attack speed the lower and health they are. So he steps up to finish pushing the wave and he does. I don't want him to get a plate. The Bork's going to make such a big difference, man. I uh, don't mind if I do. His wave's going to push to me if he touches those minions because they were already neutral. I missed a melee creep, though. Hey, friend, I'm getting some movement speed from somewhere. Can't quite get to him, though. He's going to miss this cannon. <laughs> if his cannon focuses it, that is. I would love for him to miss this cannon. Still alive, just barely. There it is. He misses the cannon gold. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny how many matchups turn into this when you're playing Warwick. Oh, I missed two minions for that. It's not worth. So many matchups honestly turn into this. It's basically because people realize after you kill them once or twice that they can't really fight you anymore. And so they just kind of end up playing super super passive he's down so much cs though man he's dead hit him with the q as long as you hold it you'll get the attachment even if they flash immediately after r so while your r is on them hold down your q over the top of them just go boop hold it don't let go and then you'll swing across even if they flash frame per frame out of your r suppression i hadn't art him yet so i wasn't really expecting it even though, like, realistically, it was pretty obvious with how low on health he was and with my Bork Siphon being up through separate attacks. Warwick, Autos, Q, and R all apply the Bork. Well, anyone who builds Bork Auto is going to apply the uh, Mist Edge percent base damage. But Warwick, Q, and R specifically apply it. His R applies it three times and his Q applies it once. So you can Auto Q R or R. Auto Q R Q Auto. Get a lot of applications in five very quickly. Killing his melee so my minions can flood underneath. Oh, Rek'Sai is here. Alright, you guys want to fight? I went through. Double fear away. Nice try. Yon burned R for that too. Kasante made it pretty obvious. I don't know if he could have made it any less obvious, though, because if he didn't chase, then they wouldn't have been able to kill me anyways. It's one of those things. I can hold the freeze now. He thinks I backed. I don't even need to back, though. I have a perma freeze now. 
You can't break this. I have double the CS. They have two dragons. That is bad. Having to deal with Samir is going to be so challenging. Oh, he gets my control word. Oh, no. That's his best counterplay he can get right now with where he's at with his items. Because he can't actually trade autos or Qs. He might be roaming right now. Okay, I got to push. To be fair, I think my teammates would have died anyways. If Cassante didn't roam. I think my teammates literally would have died. Because uh, the enemies were kind of ahead and winning on that side of the map. As it was. Might be able to get a kill here. Big speed up off Rek'Sai since she's below half health. Alrighty. I should have maybe stayed for... Q through. Get the fear. Maybe I should have autoed that cannon minion. You don't lose your speed up until uh, you get hit by an enemy champion. Minions and turrets don't. Make sure we're closer to her than anyone else. Pop W. Should be able to get it. Oh, we're closer to a moo. That's annoying. Oh, wait. What? What just happened? Did I just get outplayed? Gonna save my E. We get the Q through. Damage reduction. Get the barrier. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. The <laughs> Moo Moo triple CC into Ignite. You can't quite pinch. Big wave top side crash. I lost at least one full wave. That sucks, is what it is. Alrighty, second item. It's time for some uh, Shojin action. A lot of burst. A lot of penetration, and they're good kinds of penetration. It's armor and magic penetration. Our base AD is obviously physical damage. However, our auto attack on hit is magic damage. Q's magic damage. R is magic damage. And then Borg percent base damage is physical. So having both armor and magic penetration on the same item is ideal. Because you don't typically want to have to itemize into either individually. Using my speed up bonus... I don't want to let this wave crash though. It's not really worth it. And you might say, well, why not just roam at this point? The thing is, if we start roaming, he gets back in the game for 100% free because he's taking minions in my turret, right? Let's say my roam, the enemy see it coming, they play safe. That's a really bad trade. He gets back into the game for free, I lose my momentum. Oh, I might have to roam on that though. I would like to hold a permafreeze, but my team is losing pretty hard right now. We might just lose if I try to permafreeze, even though that would, in theory, be the best option. So we have over double SCS, and they can't stop my freeze, but they can just kill my teammates because my teammates aren't giving them any respect. I'll go ahead and leave that kind of like how it is there. Oh, hey, friend. Hey, friend. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! I couldn't move! The Rek'Sai knock-up after the yell. They just got over 800 gold off me. 850, to be exact. Dang, dude. I, was, I queued through, but then the Rek'Sai CC really wrecked me there. That's rough. Kindle and gem their team is extremely physical damage heavy their only magic damage is really the amumu and he doesn't have enough to justify us building any magic resist yon apparently has a little bit don't have enough for uh divine sunder i'll sell d blade for it leaving base with d blade over divine sunder not worth ash is dead question mark Yon's low HP. If he doesn't get back above health, half health, I could probably kill him here. What is he at? He's at 700. He needs to get back up to 900. Hey, Yon. I fear the Rek'Sai. And a double auto Q. Always Q last because your Q's an auto reset. Plus, it has more range than your base auto. So if you're already in range to auto, you generally just hold it. You don't need to use it. Did he base? Yeah, I think he just based. That sucks. He gets away. What a butthole. 
Kasante's starting to cash back up in CS. That's a crime. Oh. Should have queued it. Oof. Autos are doing about 250 each. Q's doing quite a bit more than that. I'll take the big one to make the camp reset. Oh, why are you here? It's making me wonder if Yon's over here for some reason. If you kill the big one, the camp's supposed to reset. At least from last time I checked for season 13. Nice! They both die. That's pretty good. Go for the Yon here. Make sure he's closer. Just by guessing. Hey, buddy. I get... Uh, 55% movement speed here. Get the attachment. You know, it would be really nice if I could move. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. You did a lot of magic damage there. You did about 470. It's not just that I'm getting CC'd. It's also that they're both incredibly fed. They both have more gold spent than I do, even during that fight. Two full item versus two full and a bunch of partials. Two full item plus the chain vest. If it if it was solo, I win that. If I have a gold lead over both of them, I win that. But with both of them having more gold than me and 1v2, not so much. Too much displacements. And you might be saying, well, why not go... Merc treads, right? They have a lot of CC. Merc treads. The only thing Merc treads would help us against is the Amumu stuns. Displacements, the double Yon displacement, double Cassante displacements. It's not going to do anything. Tenacity doesn't interact with displacements or suppressions. So, like, even the Rek'Sai knockout, we get nothing. It's literally just Amumu stuns. That's why uh, displacements are pretty much the best CC in the game. Go ahead and Q Theorem. Oh, are you really gonna yeah do that again see what happens okay never mind don't do that again <laughs> i should have flashed R. q absolutely chunked her she's two and a half items so she was doing some crazy damage ashlow doesn't land because they flash we'd get dragon off of it so that fight is insanely good for us i'm gonna q through that i don't like taking all those turret shots though Oh my goodness, what is that Cassante damage? Cassante damage, boy, let me tell you. Jack show, them auto attacks. Holy moly. He had some deeps. At least we get dragon. I didn't need to die for that, though. Maybe we go Thornmel third item instead of uh, Titanic. As much as I hate Thornmel. You know, they are double crit. This is a Randuin second type of uh, Randuin's third type of game. Ravenous is still a solid third item on Warwick for sure, but this is the perfect game for Randuin's really. Double crit plus four physical total. Yeah, I'll run Randuin's. And you might see oh the Thorn Mail, the Hill Cut, two self healers here. I don't think it matters. We have so much CC with the Thresh, Senna, Ash, and me. A little bit from Rengar to that. If we're focusing a self healer, they will die because they won't be able to auto attack. My fear, my suppression, thresh hook, thresh flay, thresh slow, ash slows, ash R, send a snare. And you're going to say, well, if they're slow, they can still hit you. That's true. But if they're slow, it's going to make it harder for them to consistently hit us. You get the Q attachment and the fear. I'm going to arm immediately after the fear. I don't want to miss it. This yon has been incredibly annoying. I don't want him to get away. That's free Baron. Generally, you do R after your fear. That way you don't miss. This game, I haven't been doing too much of that, though. We lose bot turret here. Maybe bot inhib. I think Baron's worth, though, for 300 gold apiece. They don't have a good split pusher. Because I can solo any of them on their team. To where if they send someone to split for that open inhib, it's not going to be worth. Ash actually stepped up against a Mumu Senna. Get him with the fear. Nice try, Rek'Sai Psych. Now we base and deal with these bungholes. Pop W. We have base move speed since it's past 20 minute mark. And I think they're going to turn realistically. Yeah, they're going to turn. Turning was, uh, I don't think was the move though.
Yeah, down goes the Santa. She got her R canceled. Frame perfect. <laughs> Thresh shined on her <laughs> right when she pressed her R. Like, literally, you didn't even see her R, but she did it, and he flayed her frame for frame. It was nasty. She she started her R mid-dash -da animation. That's how he yoinked it so fast. They do get the in-hip. Like I said, it will... It may have been worth it in terms of they couldn't fight us on Baron since two were dead, but I don't think the inhib is going to pan out to very much. I'm going to R him early to ensure the kill. R'd him while he was still feared. I didn't want to hold R and then maybe she flashed over a wall or something. It's not worth it. Dragon up in two minutes. I actually like Ocean Dragons because... It's constant value regardless of the situation. It's not, oh, if you build armor, or oh, if your grandma. No, it's just constant health regeneration on a timer, regardless of combat or out of combat. Those are the type of stats I like. For example, Wind Dragon's only out of combat. So Wind Dragon's individually, like when you're in a team fight, once it, you've actually taken damage or dealt damage, they're only so useful. Or Earth Dragons, if you're not stacking armor magic with this, they're only so useful. Chemtech Dragons, if you're not a big healer, self-healer, they're not that useful. But uh, Ocean Dragons, they're always a, a baseline value, regardless. Uh, this is not worth. So we just play for Dragon. We don't have to do anything crazy. We already have their outer turrets. I'll attack you through. I can't move. <laughs> Hopefully my teammates don't die from that. Dash got a good flay. I have no clue what Rengar is going after though. It seemed like he kind of got stuck. Which is weird because he has blue jungle items. So he gets big movement speed bonus whenever he touches bush. But uh, yeah, he couldn't move there. Seemingly. Senna with the damage. I was out of position. I got greedy. I saw the Rek'Sai and wanted to punish her for coming at us. Samir is really low. Senna auto attack Q reset. Down goes the Ash. Senna gets the Lantern. Yeah, that was my bad. I trolled that fight. Hopefully Randuins can kind of keep us alive. Taking reduced damage from crits, 20% less. On top of 400 health, 60 armor, slowing... Enemy champions by 55% per two seconds. That's really big. Holy moly. It's actually really high. Generally slows out of that high decay. Do they get dragon here? I really hope they don't. But they probably do. Yeah. I think they do. Can I get to that dragon? I can't move! Yeah, we're all gonna die now. We got him with the fear. That was so unfortunate, man. Kazante was tossing me around like a bag of carrots. Down you go. Maybe it's worth, but I would prefer us get the dragons instead of them so we can play for Draxel Wincon. I don't want to fight a Samira Amumu late game in a 5v5 with Yo and Samira Amumu late game. It's not going to be pretty for us. With a, with a really useful blue jungle item Rengar. I don't know about that one. The blue jungle item realistically is better than the other ones if you are near bushes. But from what I saw, it didn't matter. I'll attack Q. Bop him with the fear. Ugh, this is weird. Boom. Down she goes. Got some pretty crazy healing there. Amumu could not move. You got hit by our suppression. Which is, uh... How long is our R? Does it even say? Oh, so just a second and a half. It doesn't even get higher per level. I think Malzahar starts out at two seconds. Or at least I know it gets up to two or three. It's weird that Malzahar has a range suppression, point and click, no skill shot. That lasts longer than work skill shot suppression. Very weird. I'll attack Q. They lose two inhibs. 
I like it. This was a very bad pathing. There's no reason for us to walk there. We could have just walked bot. Maybe he wants red buff. I'll leave that right there. Yeah, there's no red buff even over here. It's strange that we came all this way. I'm just gonna ping them instead of my teammates so my teammates don't mute me. No reason to fight that when our teammates aren't there. It's about time for Titanic. Could make the argument for Frozen Heart. The HP from Titanic should be incredibly useful synergizing with the armor. On uh, Randuin's here. Yeah, it's already blocked around. Uh, what is that? It's already blocked over 600 damage. Decent. It's not even including its armor or health. It's just its passives. It's trying to get his Q on me. What a goober. I knew I couldn't do it. It looked too easy. Whenever something looks too easy in a team fight type of situation, it probably is. <laughs> They're all hiding off to the side waiting for me to do that. We get the fear, down she goes. Amuma R goes to waste because his teammates can't follow up. I have full stack lethal tempo. I would prefer to get on the Yone. Guess I gotta take what I can get. I'm gonna hold on to my E as long as I can. Get the Q through, double fear. Gotta focus the Yone, get him to slow on Randuins. Kasanti wants to trade autos. Flash fear into Q, down she goes. Very nice. That should be GG's, man. Warwick does scale somewhat if you have the bigger backline, which I say we do. Senna's broken. More range than any AD carry in the game, even Jinx rockets. On top of having pretty high damage. So if we can just stand there and tank and get off big AoE fears. Then uh, I'd say that's solid all in all. We need to... I think we kind of need to leave though. Land the R. Get the Q through. Barrier. I'm out of there, man. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Santa R has more range than my fear, so she can just stand there, shred me with her R while I'm CC'd and I can't do anything. <laughs> her R does so much damage. It's basically 280 Katarina R's. It's nasty. Kinda need uh Kinda need this dragon. It's soul for them. For us it's not. But if they get this, man, it's gonna be hard to kill uh their self-healers. They're gonna be healing so much all the time. Just because. They do have supers in their base, so if this fight okay, they're going Baron instead. I'm okay with that. Each one of them getting 300 more golds, whatever. A little surprised they would do that when they have supers in their base, though. Oh, actually, it's an R. <laughs> That's sick. Nice. Well, maybe that's not good. I'm going to ER. My R was basically waste. My E was wasted because of budging Rek'Sai block. Hit him with double Randuins. Lethal tempo. Nice. Sick. Ash R is a single target slow, but it's also AoE damage when it lands. And they got AoE damage super hard there. Santa got to stay alive. We blocked for her. No one could really get on her. And that is GG's. Some late game poop wick action. Sometimes you gotta go tank item, third item when you're the front line for your team. That's okay. Get the attachment and the fear. Trying to block his R. Gets it onto the Senna. He Dude, he got CC'd for like two and a half seconds. We're all hit 4v1 and he's still able to get a kill. Yone is giga bounce. What can I say? The most balanced champion in the game. <laughs> Let's take a look at damage dealt, damage taken, man. Looking at damage ultimate champions on Warwick top lane, where we were freezing most of the game and we weren't getting to fight anybody. 
we had the second most in the whole game and the most on our team. Very happy with that. Samir had the most on their team. Not that surprised. I mean, she is their only backliner. She was munching on mainly me in the Thresh and fights. For damage taken, we took the most in the game at 51k. Rengar was a close second. Realistically, everyone took about the same, though. Self-mitigated. We self-mitigated the most because we went, uh, I mean, plated plus Randuins. Your armor magic resist plus our E damage reduction. We took the most in the game. I was kind of expecting that. I thought maybe Cassante would be a bit closer, though. And then for runes, super high value. To round off the build, it's completely situational. You can go for Titanic or Ravenous. I think Titanic's better, though, overall right now since it's nerfs. The way the Titanic on hit applies AoE. You can end up getting things like Sunfire, Thornmel. You can end up going for a Mob Malmortius or Vistage versus AP teams. This is basically just the core. You can get Bork every game. You can get Divine Sunder every game. And everything else is really situational. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.